Viewer discretion advised. DC and Crazy were at Zoe's bar trying to convince Zoe to partner with them in order to sell their custom alcohol product. Crazy? You over here sounding like your alcohol gonna change the country or something. I don't know about all that change the country stuff, but folks go straight crazy over it. Ain't that right, Mark? Mark continued to struggle with his recent discovery that his girlfriend Tisha was a successful doctor. Mark! She is a whole freaking doctor, bruh. Tisha Long, M.D. The hell? So, you saying this is really that high-powered shit? So, we about to come off like the mob, you heard me? Tell them about this good shit, Mark. Oh, yeah. I had no clue she was a doctor. Not one clue. Damn it, Mark. Mark actually had plenty of clues that Tisha was a doctor. He just ignored them. Are you a nurse or something like that? <laughs> yeah, something like that. You must have some big money. You a drug dealer on the low. <laughs> I work at the hospital. So what up, Zoe? You gonna jump in with us on this? I need to think about this one a little bit crazy. Mark, get your goddamn ass over here. How am I supposed to deal with someone that successful? Man, forget that shit. Get your soft, fragile, ego having need a haircut ass over here and help me with Zoe. Mark finally snapped out of it. Check it out, Zoe. In times like these, People want to get drunk, real drunk, real fast. This good shit is going to do it and make us all rich at the same time. I damn sure can't argue with that. I'm in. Great. Glad we all on the same page. Can we go now? Because I'm missing my show straight out for the queer guy. DC was rushing the guy so that he wouldn't miss a new version of a popular makeover show. Come on out, Noah. Let's see what you got, bro. Clearly, we ain't get through to him. Big Daryl probably would have convinced him to work with us a lot quicker. Speaking of Big Daryl, across town, he was with Tyler at his apartment, trying to talk to him about what Tyler saw at Mark's father's party. It just doesn't make any sense, Daryl. You and Brandy absolutely hate each other. Damn sure straight about that. We can't stand each other. But... <clears throat> but that was the first and last time something like that will ever happen between me and her. Big Daryl was lying. Brandy actually had a crush on Big Daryl ever since she saw him at Club Lost Innocence. He's kind of cute. Yeah, the skinny one is kind of cute. I was talking about... yeah, okay. The two even secretly hooked up quite a while ago, around the time everyone was dealing with Sec United. How does my hair look? Better than it did in the back seat of the car after I messed it all up. We can't do this again. Grab the food and let's go in. They're waiting on us. Don't forget, we can't be all friendly and shit. I know, I know. And zip up your pants. What size are they anyway, Bloom? <laughs> you know, you got a lot of fat jokes for somebody. After vowing to stop seeing each other, they hooked up again at Brandy's shop. That was the front door. Shit. Go, 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 go. Move. Damn, girl, you Brandy. almost stepped on my nuts. Brandy. Shut up. Why are you? Hey, hey girl. I didn't know you was coming in today. Yeah. What were you doing back there? And of course, those hookups continued all the way to Mark's father's party. So you two aren't in a relationship at all, huh? No, no man. You know I'm a big old player. Player? Player, player? What's a player? Oh, player? shit. This is not a drill. Fire in the motherfucking hole. Hey, wait. Ah! It burned. Real hot. Real hot, Ty. Ty, I, I really don't need you telling nobody about this. Well, okay. Wait. 
Are you talking about you and Brandy, or are you talking about your bathroom issues? <laughs> Damn it, Ty. I'm talking about Brandy. Oh, okay. Because that was confusing. I really don't know why it needs to be a secret, though. Oh, oh Ty. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It, it just thinks, Ty. It, it ain't normal at all. Um, again, you're talking about Brandy or your bathroom issues? Because I agree, it doesn't sound normal in there. Or healthy, for that matter. Damn, Tyler, I'm talking about Brandy. Brandy! Okay, ha. I hear you. More than I want to. I'll keep it to myself. Th thank you, Ty. I'm thinking you might need a new toilet after I'm done. <laughs> now, I know you're not talking about Brandy. And from the way it sounds... I might need a whole new bathroom. This shit ain't funny, Tyler. <laughs> With Zoe's help, things really started to pick up over the next couple of weeks as the sales of their good shit alcohol product began to skyrocket all over the country. The guys also began to enjoy their newfound success. Their alcohol product turned out to be really addictive, which also helped them get even more money over a short period of time. That drink got me. I tried to kick, but the good shit be calling me and calling me, man. Here, here, and clean yourself up, man. With their business taking off, Mark started to feel a little more secure about himself and things started to return to normal between him and Tisha. Business is booming, and it's only been a couple of weeks. I'm really happy for you guys, but I'm, I'm with take a... take you out somewhere nice as soon as your shift is over. Okay, baby. Now I have Girl, to... Girl, I gotta talk to you right now. Brandy, what the hell? How did you even know I was in here? Hey, broke monkey. Bye, broke monkey. God damn it, Brandy. I told It's an emergency. A big one. Couldn't this wait? I'm, I'm trying so to... So you know my boyfriend there. I mean, Darnell, right? Uh, no. Not at all. Right. Well, he hasn't called me in almost three weeks. Can you believe that? That's the emergency? Who the hell is Darnell? Uh... <laughs> I can't taste it. Uh, you don't know him. We've been seeing each other for a while now, and out of nowhere, he just stopped contacting me. Dr. Long, could you wrap up your personal stuff and get back to my test results, please? Oh, uh, you just got terminal ass cancer, Mr. Akbar, so it's pretty much rock a -bye, baby. <laughs> what? rock a -bye, baby? What does that mean? Oh, girl, you know I say that all the time. Oh, no. No, you really don't... Brandy, fearing that Tyler would say something to Tisha about seeing her with Big Daryl, thought it would be best to keep them from talking to each other. Like I was saying, you- So we just gonna pretend that you didn't just decline a call on my phone? Will you give me my phone? She don't have time to talk to you. Go watch the New American Idol or something. Brandy? Why are you answering Tisha's phone? You know what? It doesn't matter. I need your cousin over here right now. And if you don't cut that damn attitude and get her over here, I'm going to start making some calls to talk about what I saw at the party. Ugh, fine. Just come down and don't start calling folks. We'll be there in a little bit. Hold up, girl. We about to go do what now? Come on, I explain on the way. Hey, what about me? Step off, Grandpa. Hey, man, all you got is almond milk? Yep, that's all we got. So you don't have no milk from a moo cow? Nigga, what the hell? <laughs> Did you just say a moo cow? Yeah, a moo cow. You know, milk from a cow that goes So what about moo? these apartments? I mean, we can afford them, even move next to each other. I don't know about all that, bro. I heard some bad things about Nina, the owner. I ain't heard nothing but good things about the Carter. I'm probably going there, so let's all do it. What's good, Dad? Ain't nothing good right now, boy. I got a bunch of investors from the party backing out of their deals because they got really sick. So, what's that got to do with me? 
They all had one thing in common. Each of them all drank that piss water alcohol you and your friends brought to the party. Come on, Dad. That's just a coincidence. Let me hit you back, Dad. This is Zoe. What up, Big Time Zoe? Big Time? We got Big Time motherfucking issues, Mark. I got people outside trying to bust down my door because good shit been making them all sick. It wasn't a big deal when it was just one or two of them. But I got a whole mob of these motherfuckers out there, Mark. I need you to come and help me over here. Damn. This ain't good. <laughs> just hold it down, Zo. We'll get to the bottom of this and help you out. That didn't sound good at all. I think we got a problem. Back at Tyler's apartment, Tisha and Brandy show up to check on Big Daryl. Ty, you caught us over here for nothing. He looks just like he always does. Big, bloated, and sweaty. Brandy, Kimberly Long, will you chill out? This could be serious. Tyler suddenly remembered something Big Daryl said a while back. Oh, uh, yeah, see, that, that was, uh, that, that, that was my homegirl, uh, Kim. Daryl! So when you told Crazy you were talking to your homegirl, you were talking about... <laughs> hey, uh, what the hell? Sorry, I almost fell over. But you were standing still. Daryl, what was the last thing you ate or drank? Yeah, honestly, nothing. I did have a few of the good shit drinks before I came over here. Hmm. That's all you had? Hey, Mark. T-Money, we may have a problem. I haven't been able to get in touch with Big D. Something may be wrong with the drink because a lot of folks seem to be getting sick from it. Oh, boy. It's weird that you say that because Daryl's been here for a few weeks and he's really sick. Tisha and Brandy are here checking him out now. We'll be there in a little bit. You need to find out where old Fred is. We gotta roll over to Tyler's and find out what's up with the alcohol. This shit ain't looking good. I make it fast in a flash, got a bigger stash than you do. Uh. Try not to laugh at you, do, but your bank account needs a life vest. I'm well for you. Oh. Why your life is a nice mess. Bruh, I got more bands than the rock and roll hall of fame. Got more cash, got more chains than your whole entire gang. And why you getting turned down for bank loans? Uh. I'm buying up bitcoins and making a rain pole. Dog, ain't no way you can get more than me. Nope. Showed you my bank statements and your eyes got watery. Crying. Broke, I can't. I always have to sign things. You're always giving me stuff to sign. I tell you, this isn't what I signed up for. Sad. Everything will be okay as soon as I finish drinking this good shit. Support us on Patreon. What's up, players? Y'all make sure that y'all like this video and subscribe to Dual Influence for more funny videos like this one. And please share it. Share it wherever you can to all your friends. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Dual Influence. Appreciate you.